Hello everyone and welcome to Pixelborn Connect. This will be a very very quick guide on how you can play on Pixelborn Connect and some tips and tricks. The first thing you need to do after you uh, download the latest version of Pixelborn is to go in the play menu and then on test. This will allow you to set up your camera, adjust it, uh, change some settings like pre uh, preferred devices like camera, microphone, output devices. You can also change uh, the game you want to play uh, from up here. You can, at the moment, only Disney World Kana is available, but over time we will add additional games. And just a quick disclaimer, um, Pixelborn is not supported or endorsed in any way by neither Ravensburger nor Disney. So have that in mind. It's nothing official, but just a fan-made client unauthorized. So after you set up your camera, for now you can go in the lab and join a game, join a quick match. Uh, you'll be also able to set your preferences for uh, preferred languages that you probably speak and you choose your deck you have all the your favorite things like deck stats and uh, deck performance that you can um, check after that and yeah you can just go and uh, play a game and the ranked mode will be available in one week about one week uh, until we fixed all potential issues so I'll just uh, quickly join a WAP game versus one of my friends. First time you launch it, uh, you'll be asked for permission for your camera. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Pixelborn Connect. Uh, this is the first uh, uh, layout that you be uh, that will be available to play. And uh, let's quickly go through the things that you can do. Uh, from the menu here, you can control your opponent camera. You can uh, flip it, adjust it, so you uh, have a better experience. You can change the brightness, contrast, and the volume of your opponent. And later on, uh, when the time comes, you can um, report the game as completed. And again, later on, you'll be able to co-judge who will join your uh, game and help you resolve any issues you might have. But this will be available only for ranked play. Uh, after that, uh, you can mute yourself and um, you have your opponent resources on the top and your resources on the bottom and uh, your total, uh, your opponent total lore and your lore, you can increase that or decrease it. And you also can use shortcuts to do that. So you can use the arrows up and down to increase and decrease your uh, current lore and you can use left and right arrows to change your um, uh, to change your uh, ink as well. You can see the uh, outline um, around my frame which means that I am the active player as soon as I pass my opponent will become the active player. You can talk to your opponent, you can communicate in any way, and you can also send them a message. Hi, good luck, have fun. And um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what we have at the moment. You can also uh, either click the pass button or hit the space bar. So those are the shortcuts that should be relatively easy to remember and use. Those are the arrows and the spacebar. So, as you can see, there are a lot of empty areas on the board at the moment and all that will be filled over time with various elements that will make your experience even better uh, over the long run. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. At some point, you can uh, try to end your game, choose the winner. Uh, in this case, let's say I am the winner, I get the victory and I have the option to rate my opponent. I can rate their camera setup uh, and their devices and I can also uh, rate their attitude. Let's say I had a great opponent with a relatively good camera setup and um, 
yeah if you are not okay with that result for example your opponent uh, wrongly reported the result you will see a small checkbox here um, that you can dispute the result and yeah pretty much uh, that's it hope you liked that uh, quick and short video and I'm very excited to launch Pixelborn Connect and enjoy it with uh, all of you guys and I'm really really excited to launch the ranked season in about a week so yeah see you in game